Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another Diablo 4 guide, and today we're going to be talking about the Hydra and Fireball Sorcerer build. This is a build that we saw quite a bit in the Diablo 4 beta, and it is very, very much so still reliable and consistent when it comes to damage. I'll be giving you a complete breakdown of the build mechanics, character progression, and the playstyle, so that you can easily get to level 25 very, very smoothly and have a build set up for the end game. The Hydra and Fireball Sorcerer build is an excellent choice for anyone who wants to burn their foes to a crisp with great balls of fire, of course. So this build is easily capable of blasting through the entire Fractured Peaks content and also much more after the Fractured Peaks. It's not going to just be an Act 1 build. This build is going to do very, very well throughout leveling to max and I will say both Hydra and Fireball complement each other very very well and can really handle any situation it doesn't lack in any kind of situation um, from what I can tell at the moment it's looking like a very top tier build multiple sources of blazing fire damage will incinerate your foes even the hordes of hell cannot stand the heat of the Hydra and Fireball Sorcerer so let's dive into the details of the build so let's go with like a level 25 build here. We'll start with that. At level 25, you're going to have 27 different points to really put into your Sorceress build. To start off, if we take a look at the Diablo 4 Planner, you're going to want to make sure you take Firebolt. This is going to be a primary that you're going to want to make sure you take because it's going to hurl Flaming Bolt, dealing 10% damage and burning for 40% damage over a second. So over time, you're going to do a lot more damage, as well as you're going to take the Enhanced Firebolt, which basically pierces through burning enemies, and then Fireball as well down here in the core skills. In the core skills, the Fireball is going to be a huge one because you're basically going to deal 60% damage to surrounding enemies. So it's an AoE attack or AoE Fireball, but it also does a lot of damage of burst. And that's something that we love to see in Diablo 4. Flickering Fireball is, of course, the next thing we're going to want to take. And if you take a look at Flickering Fireball, it's in the top right of your Diablo 4 build. It's going to be the one that gives you two mana when hitting a burning enemy. So auto attacks are going to be really, really solid for you, giving you more mana each and every auto attack pretty much. Next up, we are going to take the enhanced fireball again, and that's going to basically ensure that we have fireballs radius increased based on distance traveled up to 50%. So if you're shooting a fireball from far away, it's actually going to increase when it gets there, which is huge. Um, I also want to talk about the Greater Fireball. So you have Destructive Fireball and you have Greater Fireball. We're going to take Greater Fireball because it deals 10% of the burning damage you've applied to enemies as additional direct damage, which is massive damage overall. As we continue down, we are going to want to finally take some defensive skills. When it comes to defensive, we are going to take Teleport, transform into Lightning, becoming unstoppable and surging to the target location, dealing 25% damage around you upon arrival which is a massive amount of damage when it comes to the damage though it's not going to really be why we're using this skill it's going to just help us a lot with defensive and aggression when it comes to the sorcerer so frost nova is the next one we're going to be taking if you guys look at the frost nova here in the bottom middle it's going to unleash a torrent of frost freezing enemies around you for two seconds What's good about Frost Nova is some of the benefits of the lower tiers. So if we take a look here, we have Enhanced Frost Nova, which is going to be killing enemies frozen by Frost Nova, reduces its cooldown by two seconds up to six seconds per cast, which is going to be huge for our Sorcerer's build. Um, then, of course, Shimmering's Frost Nova. If you guys look at these, Shimmering is by far the better option here. Shimmering basically gives you or generates you four mana per enemy hit, which is massive for mana regeneration. After that, we are going to go up here and actually just level up Fireball to level 2. We're going to make sure we can do as much damage as possible with that Fireball. Leveling it to level 2 is going to be our best option. Now we're going to finally take the Hydra, which makes us the Hydra and Fireball build. So Hydra, summon a three-headed dragon, or three-headed Hydra, I should say, for three seconds. Each head spits fire at the enemies, dealing 30% damage. Maximum one active Hydra at a time. You know, that's exactly why we're actually going to level this Hydra up all the way to level 5. And after we have that level 5, we're going to actually take the Enhanced Hydra, which is basically going to say, while healthy, your cast of Hydra gain one additional head, which is going to give us more damage overall. And then we're also going to take the Summoned Hydra. So Hydra also burns enemies for an additional 12% of its base damage dealt over 6 seconds. We're going to have a lot of burn here working together, and it's going to make this Sorceress build so, so strong. We're also going to go back up to our teleport, and we're going to take the Enhanced Teleport. 
the enhanced teleport is going to basically decrease our cooldown of the teleport by 0.5 seconds per enemy hit up to three seconds, which is going to give us even more mobility and defensive uh, kind of use of this teleport. So we're also going to take the Shimmering Teleport instead of the Mystical. Shimmering is going to allow us to have the 30% damage reduction for 5 seconds after teleporting. Huge when it comes to a defensive skill. We're also going to notice that we have the Hydra Rank 5. We're going to now make the Fireball Rank 5. And this is all around that level 20 to 25 range where you'll be able to start to increase the Fireball to level 5. So make sure to get to level 5 by about 23 to 25 level and then we're going to go the route of the ultimate skills. If we go to the very bottom, you can see that there's a lot of different skills we haven't taken. We haven't taken any mastery or ultimate skills yet. So which one are we going to take? First, it comes down to the Infernal. In the Inferno or the Infernal is a huge, huge ability to take because it's going to summon a fiery serpent that continually constricts the target area, burning enemies for 295% damage, over just eight seconds so we're going to take the inferno of course so next up we have the prime inferno which is basically in addition to the regular inferno's damage it's going to repeatedly pull enemies closer to its center and then the supreme inferno as well while inferno is active your pyromancy skills cost no mana so that's going to be about level 25 level 27 depending on how much uh skill points you have at that point in time and this is going to be a very very strong build that's going to work for so many of us i really think this is going to be one of the strongest leveling builds out there in diablo 4 and if you guys want more diablo 4 content make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i will see you guys all in the next one